Hello and welcome to this video on the area and perimeter of rectangles and other rectilinear shapes. And by rectilinear shapes, I just mean shapes where all the angles are right angles. Now let's suppose I'm trying to find the area of this rectangle here. And you might understand area as a notion of how much space something takes up in two dimensions. So what is the width for this in units? Well, it's four units in width, one, two, three, four, four unit squares and the height in unit squares is three. Now the area would be how many unit squares we have, how much space it's taking up. And we can see, well, we've got three layers of four squares. So the area would just be four times three, which is equal to 12 units squared. We could write that as unit squared like that to say we have 12 unit squares. So we can, so we can see that the area of a rectangle is just the width, this width here, multiplied by the height. And that is a key formula that we're going to use for the rest of this video. So let's take this first rectangle here. So what would the area be and what would be the perimeter be? So the area is, well, we just did that for this example. It's 12 meters squared because it's three times four. But the perimeter just means the total length around the shape. What's the total length of all the edges? Well, we've got four here, we've got three here, we've got four here again, and we've got three here. And if we add those all up, so four plus three plus four plus three, the total edge length and hence the total perimeter is 14 meters. What about question two? We've got a pond and the pond is eight meters by three meters. So three meters by eight meters. And around that pond, we're gonna put a path and it says the width of the path is two meters all around. So that's two meters, that's two meters, that's two meters, and that's two meters. The width all the way around the pond is two meters. And there you go, there's your pond in the middle with the path around the edge. And the cost for paving it is 20 pound per five meters squared of paving stones. What is the total cost of the path? Well, we first need to work out the total area of the path. Now to get this area of the path, well, we could split it into sort of separate rectangles, but the easiest way is to start with the area of the whole shape here, this rectangle here, and then we can just cut out the pond in the middle. We subtract that area to leave just the area of the path. So the total area is, well, we need to know the total width. So look, that's three there. But you've got an extra two either side. So three plus two plus two is seven meters. So that is seven meters. And the total height, well, we've got the eight meters there plus an extra two, that's 10, plus an extra two, that's 12. So the total height is 12 meters. So the total area of everything is 12 times seven, which is 84 meters squared. And the area of the pond is equal to three times eight, which is equal to 24 meters squared. So that means the area of the path, well, we start with the big rectangle, everything, and cut out the pond in the middle, so minus a 24, and that is equal to 60 meters squared. Now it costs 20 pound per five meters squared. So we need to work out how many lots of paving stones do we need? We've got five meters squared. How many lots of five meters squared do we need so that we have enough for 60 meters squared? Well, we can just do a division, can't we? So we do 60 divided by five to find out how many times five goes into 60, and that's 12 lots of paving stones. So then each lot of paving stones costs 20 pounds. So we do 12 times 20 pound and that is going to be 240 pound. And that is the final answer. What about question three? We've got this rectangle here. We don't know this height. We're told the area for the first part is 28.35 meters squared. What is the height? Well, to find the area of a rectangle, we would do 4.2, the width, times by the height, which is h, and that gives us the area that we're told, so 28.35. So if we want to find h, well notice that h is being multiplied by 4.2, and we want to get rid of that times by 4.2, so we divide both sides by 4.2, 
and that means h is this divided by 4.2, 28.35 divided by 4.2, and that gives us 6.75 metres. So that is the height. Now, in part B, the height's going to be slightly different. If the perimeter was 20 metres of the rectangle, what would be the height? The total width around the outside is 20 metres. We're told that. That's the perimeter. Now, we know that's 4.2 and that's 4.2. So we could do 20 minus two lots of 4.2 to get 11.6 metres. And that gives us the total length of these two edges here because we've started with 20 we've got rid of these two 4.2s here to get these remaining lengths here so we know these two add up to 11.6 and then we can just divide that by 2 to get 5.8 meters and that is the answer and for this last example we've got an example of a rectilinear shape Remember I said that a rectilinear shape is where all the angles are 90 or, well, in this case, 270. Now, we need to find the area and we need to find the perimeter. Let's find the perimeter first. We need to find these missing lengths here. Well, we know that this total height is 12 centimetres, but we know that height there is 4 centimetres. So that's 4 centimetres. We add this length to get the total height of 12. Well, this, therefore, must be 12 minus 4. So that length is 8 centimetres, so we get 8 plus 4 is 12. That's right. And then this length plus this length is 11. So 7 plus what is 11? Well, it's 4. And that allows us to get the perimeter because we can just add all of these up. So we do 12 plus 11 plus 4 plus 4 plus 8 plus 7. And that is 46 centimetres. By the way, a little trick is that if you're finding the perimeter, can you see that that length there would be the same as this dotted length here? And that length here would be the same as this dotted length here. And therefore, we can discard these two edges and replace it with these two edges without changing the perimeter. And we get a rectangle. So we could actually find the perimeter of this rectangle in order to get the, the perimeter of this more complex shape. So we could do 12 plus 11 is 23, and then double that because we have it again, and that indeed gets us 40. So that's a nice little trick if you have an L shape like that to get the perimeter. Now to find the area, we can split it into two rectangles because we know how to find the area of a rectangle. So we could either split it that way or we could split it that way. Let me just split it this way. And I'm going to number these. So I'm going to number that A and I'm going to number that B. And let's find the area of each. So the area of A is going to be well, 7 times 12, which is 84 centimetres squared. And the area of B is just 4 times 4, which is 16 centimetres squared. And that means the total area is just 84 plus the 16, which is 100 centimetres squared. That's a nice round number, isn't it?